Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nicole Menner. Taking on the number eight ranked Kentucky Tuesday night, the Bulldogs would be handed a tough loss with some shockingly low stats. The Dogs were limited to season lows of 19 field goals made and just a 31.1 shooting percentage. Mississippi State shot just 3 of 20 from the three-point range, while Kentucky was 8 of 16. The 21-point loss would be the largest on the season for the Dogs, who lost their first three games by just a combined 14 points. I, I thought that the University of Kentucky was really, really impressive tonight in uh, facing them here. I thought their defense in particular really uh, caused us a lot of problems. They forced nine turnovers in the first half. I thought they got us playing fast and they got us playing to where we were uh, in a hurry rather than being under control offensively in the first half. And uh, we were probably fortunate to only be down eight. And then right away they came out and uh, uh, really executed well at both ends of the floor. And we had about four, we, we went about, I think, six or seven minutes when he scoring four points. Really struggled. Uh, tonight offensively and give them credit with their defense. With senior bowl practice underway, former MSU defensive end Montez Sweat is catching some eyes. The projected first round NFL draft pick was tabbed by scouts and media as the most dominant defensive player on day one of practice on Tuesday. Sweat won nearly every matchup throughout the day during South team practice. This season he racked up 22 sacks and nearly 30 tackles for loss. As for why he wanted to continue to compete, compete in the Senior Bowl, here's what he had to say. I feel like I still got a whole lot to prove, man. And just uh, I wanted to coach to, to play with these coaches, man, and also learn something from them and just keep on getting better. Continue to show what I showed all year, just getting after the ball, getting after the pass, and just playing my heart out. In some other MSU football news, Coach Joe Moorhead has announced the hiring of Terry Richardson to join the Bulldogs as assistant head coach and running backs coach. Richardson has nearly 20 years of coaching experience under his belt and is coming from Connecticut where he spent two seasons. He's also spent some time in the NFL working with the Jaguars in the same role for two seasons. The New Orleans Saints are now staring a long offseason right in the face. Still recovering from Sunday's loss, the Saints front office now has to get to work to shape next year's team. And will quarterback Teddy Bridgewater still be on that team? It's something Teddy isn't too worried about. Heading to the offseason, I'm just thinking about um, finding ways to get better as a player. Um, you know, continue to uh, just do the little things with my body, uh, my mind, uh, to put me in a position to contribute and uh, be a player in this league. All right, well, we can't go a night without talking about the Saints debacle not going away anytime soon. And Saints ticket holders going so far as to sue the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell. After being approached by multiple ticket holders, that attorney is taking action, asking the court to order the commissioner to reverse the results of the game, claiming the rule book gives Goodell the power to have the teams replay the game from the point where the penalty could have been called. The hearing is set for January 28th in civil district court. And you know what? I have to say I respect wow. the move. Passionate Saints fans, they care so much. They're taking it to court. I would do the same for the Red Sox. But would you do the same for the Yankees, Mark? Well, as a Yankee fan, I can tell you I wouldn't have to because winning is what we do. 